capable of going Immortals too against this mass, mass Stalker build. Absolutely, yeah. Immortals are pretty pretty strong against Mass Stalkers. I mean, if they focus them down, it's not as big. But mm -hmm. um, if you can keep the Immortals back, they just do so much damage against these uh, Stalkers. And he is oh, going yeah. to push here, and it looks like he does utilize Blink and get up into your base. But do you feel like you're in trouble here, or is this going to be held off pretty easily? Uh, I don't know. Like, I wasn't really sure. I mean, it was pretty even. It's going to come down to how well he micros and how well I micro. I mean, he does snipe my two Colossus pretty quickly, and he's doing it pretty well. I mean, he's taking out my range units, because it's not hard to micro against the Zealots. You just got to make sure you have that time to micro against them, and you're not getting picked off yourself by sure. the other player's range units. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and pause it real quick right here. I've got a couple questions I'd like to ask you. So I'm going to pause it at 10.23. Okay. Um, do you feel like, uh, do, have you used Stalker Micro much, or do you kind of stay away from it? PvP, generally, I don't like going Mass Stalker Blink. I have before. Uh, I like it. It's, like I said, micro-intensive. I just feel like against a really solid player, a top solid player, it's r negative EV, and uh, it just, I don't know. I think it's... You know, they go DTs, you're dead. They go Immortals, usually you're behind. You go, it, They go Phoenixes, I think it's like a toss-up. Although, surprisingly, you'd think Blink Stalkers is going to roll Phoenix builds, but if they do it really well with a lot of Zealots and a few Stalkers to cover it, uh, Phoenixes actually can give Mass Stalkers a tr some trouble. I don't know. It's just, I hate I hate going a build that leaves you, like, auto-lost or something, because if they went DTs and they hold off your first initial push with whatever, and they get, like, one DT in your base, you're dead. That's it. Game over. Yeah. So, I mean, although I might be behind with, like, this build, like, right now, I, f I think I'm a little bit behind unit-wise, or, I don't know. He, it just seems like he has a lot of map control, and he's being really aggressive. But I'm safe against a lot of things, and if I would have went DTs, he would be dead in this situation, like, 8 out of 10 times, unless he was really fast at, you know, putting up a forge or a robo or whatever. Yeah, I was going to say, I noticed he's got no forge for cannons and no robo for observers, so any type of DT would have just ended him. Now, mm -hmm. this was, this important to note, this was just a friendly uh, matchup between you guys, a best mm -hmm. of five, right? Yes. All right. Good to know. Okay, um, next question. Blink Micro, do you feel like, like he's using just, uh, he's selecting all of his stalkers and blinking at, at when he feels is necessary? Do you feel that's better or worse than individually blinking stalkers from the front to the back? Uh, in this situation, he's doing it properly. And other, other situations, like if you're fighting against the Zerg head on with your stalkers and, you know, he's got like Roach Hydra or something like that, or even Zergling Roach Hydra or whatever he has, right? Then microing away one unit at a time is smarter than, you know, because you're not committing to a fight that way. You're kind of being evasive, taking free units, and then trying to preserve your own so that they can recharge shields and fight another day. Here, you got to commit to it. You can't, like, take pot shots and then run away because I have Colossus, I have Stalkers, I have Sentries, and you're going to take more damage than you're going to give me by doing that. So... In this situation, he's microing, microing correctly, but you can use the other technique in different situations like PvZ or PvT or whatever. Good to know. And is that partially because of uh, the shields, of course? Like, his shields will re regenerate as well? Yeah. Kind of. He, he can't, like... My Colossus will do more damage to him than he would do to me. So it'd be... I don't know. He just... He has to commit to a fight, basically. He can't be... Uh, too sneaky about it and yeah if he he can't leave wounded units out because uh they'll recharge shields okay and last question on this topic do you think uh zealot charge would have been an important step in your tech tree right now um it depends i don't know if i could get away with it because if i tried to tech to it right now i would like let's say i don't have that glasses and then i try to I try to tech to it, he would pretty much overrun me at this point, just because he could blink in, take out, you know, the two stalkers in the sentry, and then he just kites my zealots all day, and I take losses. Uh, if I foresaw the blink stalkers, then maybe. 
but even then, you're coming out pretty even. Blink stalkers versus charge zotes, because sure, you're going to charge up to them, but then you can just blink away. Right. You'd have to have uh, something that could keep up with the stalkers, basically. And uh, I don't know. It, it would be interesting to see. I know TLO, I think, went some kind of weird charge zealot PvP build and uh, HDH or something. I can't remember what games it was. But I haven't seen it used that effectively PvP yet from the games I've seen. Good to know. Uh, some interesting insight, to say the least. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get the game started back up. Uh, at 10.23, I'm going to start it in 3, 2, 1, start. Okay. okay, so he's reinforcing with a few more Stalkers, and uh, it looks like he's trying to focus down your Colossus, and you're getting a lot of hits on him while he's trying to chase that down. Uh, again, he's in your base with Blink Stalkers. Do you feel threatened, or are you feeling like you're okay? I'm, I'm feeling like I'm okay. I mean, he's doing damage. He really needs to take out my Stalkers and my Sentry. He's targeting the Zealots, which I don't feel is that good, just because... Uh, He's taking a lot of his damage, and my zealots can tank better than his stalkers can. I actually split my force here, because I was thinking he can't keep up with the micro that he's trying to accomplish. Right. So I like send two down to intercept any stalkers coming up, and then I send three to his main, and then you know, because this is gonna force him to fight, you know, three or four battles that he basically doesn't want to fight all at the same time, because he has to be blinking and stuff. And basically, what I can do in my main base is attack, move with minimal micro. He has to be able to blink, move, micro his home base, you know, micro me intercepting his stalkers all at the same time, which is a lot harder than me just attack moving in two and different places. This is actually clutch right now. Your zealots are in his base while his uh, gateways are on global cooldown. Uh, so <laughs> that's really bad, and you got a lot of kills off on his probes. Uh, so yeah, like you were saying, splitting up the attacks, it does force the person with playing Stalkers to just uh, spread out his attention just too much. And mm -hmm. you are easily overwhelming him here now that you've got his, your first Immortal out. And uh, he's pretty much got a tech switch or he's going to lose this game, correct? Uh, yeah, I would agree with that, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's just really behind because now he's down probes. He's, he's, got, he's going up against like an Immortal gateway mix, which is pretty even. But he doesn't have the same amount of supply I do. I mean, I'm pretty oh, ahead well, now. Well, yeah, he's 11 harvesters down on you now. So uh, all that time he's focusing on his uh, micro. He probably wasn't macroing with uh, probes enough. And you were able to pump out a ton. And now, yeah, you're 11 harvesters. Still 10 now up on him. And do you feel like you have to expand? Or you feel like you can play one base against him right now? <laughs> I know. A lot of people would probably laugh because I'm like notorious, although I don't think I deserve the tag as much as people would say as like a one base Protoss, but PvP it's just it's really hard to expand. Uh, I do expand